And so the great hunter appears. I have a feeling I'll be paying out a lot more bounties soon, seeing as to how you're around. John Brookshire. Serving in an official capacity for the New California Republic. I'm the man who signs the paychecks around here. Randall came to us, actually. He was short on funds and armament, and we had long since known about Frost Hill and its renegade population. There's a standing bounty on almost every person here. Some of them have been running from justice for decades. While Marco has not committed any known crimes against the NCR yet, many of his men have. With that in mind, we elected to partner with Randall. Thanks to Randall's reputation and our money, we now have a strong contingent of bounty hunters. Perhaps enough to reckon with the outlaw populace. No, absolutely not. Although they're wanted, I want to arrange for a peaceful resolution with the more civilized elements in the canyon. I've made multiple attempts at a diplomatic solution, but my offers have been rebuffed each and every time. I even put a amnesty on the table, provided they accept NCR control. They acted as if I wanted their firstborn. <laughs> Asinine. Randall believes that this can be a peaceful, independent community once Marco and his ilk are gone, but I disagree. Only with the firm leadership of the NCR can Frost Hill put its outlaw past behind it. The law will have its day, whether they like it or not. When this is finished, the residents will have to choose between the NCR or life elsewhere. Violence, however, is out of the question. Absolutely, that's what's in the offer, more or less. We want a smooth, profitable transition from outlawry to civilization, nothing more. The bottom line is that we want the outlaws gone and the town turned legitimate, with proper leadership. With your reputation, perhaps you'll succeed where I failed. In that event, I'll see that you're rewarded when this is settled. Good luck. Yes? What's on your mind? There actually isn't a formal bounty out on Marco, at least as far as the NCR is concerned. Whatever he did back east, it didn't affect the Republic. With that said, some of his gang members most definitely have a history with us. Once the canyon's secured, I'm sure we'll work something out. I do have some additional bounties that Randall passed on. Seems if they're not directly related to his crusade against Marco, he's not interested. Some of these targets are even of a political nature. Bringing these people to justice is important to my superiors. So, are you interested? I knew you were a climber when I saw you. You might have one hell of a career waiting for you in the NCR when this is settled. Your first target is a terrorist by the name of Godwin. He was a journalist who began sending mail bombs to anyone associated with tax collection. And over time, Godwin has become lionized by certain unpatriotic elements who view him as a hero in the anti-taxation movement. Absurd. All of it. He's a murderer, plain and simple. The fact that he's escaped justice for so long is an affront to the rule of law. Do you have any questions? According to our most recent intelligence, he's holed up by himself in a cabin. He's a deranged little hermit, if there ever was one. A true nut job. A thousand caps. Dead. We don't have the resources to process live captives out here, so if it's all the same to you, we'll keep things simple. Very well. Godwin should be in his shack southeast of here. Just. Be mindful of any traps left by that little madman.
Jackson, what are you doing out in this godforsaken what? Hold on. Who are you? What's your business here? No, I'm not going anywhere. I hide nothing from my children. Besides, I don't want to stand out there and flirt with Frostbite. I'll stay inside. Is that what those cretins told you? I was married for almost ten years, and only recently lost my wife Samantha. Not that it would matter to you. Those fools finally managed to piece together my location. And now they've sent you. No doubt a serpentine killer of the lowest order. I have no shame or regret for what I've done. NCR ruined me, just like they've done to so many others. They'll continue to do so unless we act. I was disenfranchised and harried by their collectors until I was little more than a vagabond. That's what they do. My actions helped remind those decadent beasts that they are still subject to the people, and they aren't beyond the reach of justice. If my politics don't move you, then consider the fate of my children. They are innocents in this struggle, and they'd be helpless without me. Very well. Hi. What do you need? I got them. Hi there, mister. You need something? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Yes? Excellent. This will be big news back west. Newspapers have been running stories on him for years. Always made the Republic look impotent. You certainly earned your pay. I look forward to working with you again. No. I chose this course, and I will accept the consequences. As long as I draw breath, I'll never stop striking at those autocratic apes. Very well, say your piece. I believe that. The truth of it stings, in fact. Very well. If the NCR is led to believe that I'm gone, then I'll cease my activities. I hear the Great Khans just packed up and left Red Rock King. Yes? Really? Uh, that's surprising. I thought we finally had him nailed down. Guess he moved on to bigger and better things. <laughs> Probably got scalped by 80s. At least I can check him off my list. This isn't a full bounty, but I appreciate the fact that you made a good try of it. I've still got more names on my list, so let me know if you're interested in another job. Yes? Your target is a vigilante by the name of Jackson. For years, he acted as a one-man judge, jury, and executioner in NCR territory, defying the law. A few years ago, he killed a senator who was accused of rape, but was eventually acquitted. We suspect the accuser hired Jackson to do the deed. To top it off, he's supposedly shacked up with a slaver that we haven't identified. Kill them both and I'll throw in a bonus. Good luck.
Yeah? I rolled into town about the same time as her. Hit it off, like, right away. We're both just survivors, looking to put our old lives behind us. We both know how this world works. We just want to ensure our kids don't have to struggle like we did. Really, it boils down to pragmatism. And sex. <sighs> fuck romantic. We're just two realists who like to fuck. And we both know a partnership like this is beneficial in the long run. Yeah, it's sort of obvious. A random stranger happens in and starts a conversation. It's a little odd. Look, I know you're just doing your job and all that, but I'm not hurting anybody here. The truth is, I'm retired. Trust me when I say that everybody I took down had it coming. Especially that fat-assed senator. He was a fucking monster. You off me and some pencil pusher back in Shady will just check off another box on his form. Enough time passes and they might send someone after you. That's how the NCR works, all right? They expect you to be a, a meek, obedient serf, utterly reliant on the state. Fuck that, all right? I did what I had to do. You know, you and I aren't that different. So either do it or don't, but stop wasting my time, would ya? What do you need? Yes? You're working out well for us, if I may say so. I have a few more contracts, if you're still interested in additional work. Yes? He always was a slippery one. Here's a little something for your time, regardless. Yes? This one is... delicate. But the payout is significant. Your job is to eliminate one of the Republic's worst traitors. Joe Frost. A few years ago, Joe was working as a high-level technician in an intelligence agency. His specialty was in surveillance equipment, to be specific. He discovered that a rogue element in the agency was unlawfully monitoring citizens in the hopes of rooting out from Antarii. Instead of reporting this to his superiors up the chain of command, Frost decided to leak the program and any pertinent intelligence to the press. This has been a public relations nightmare for the Republic. But, more importantly, divulging that intelligence has endangered our troops. He released secret troop movements, plans, and other highly sensitive information. All the frumentari I had to do was pick up the damn newspaper. Unwilling to abide by the law and face a fair trial, Frost absconded like a coward. We've been fruitlessly searching for him. Until now. I have it on good authority that he's staying at the Frost Hill Hotel. I want you to discreetly terminate him. Preferably with no witnesses. Do you have any questions? When two platoons of troopers are ambushed and massacred because of the leak, that's when. Frost's sedition has gotten men killed. Good luck, then. What do you need? Hail 
Howdy. What do you want? Even here, out in this frozen hole, the Republic still finds me. It was bound to happen, I just didn't expect it here of all places. I bet it was Brookshire. It was, wasn't it? Wickham wouldn't go for this. Clark is too stupid to find me. No, it has to be Brookshire. That's slime. I did their dirty work for years. Tapping phone lines and helping them spy on regular citizens. This war. It made them compromise our principles. This isn't the Republic I learned about in school. Tandy wouldn't have stood for this. The people had a right to know. Are you so blind that you can't see what's happening? They're just using you right now, and soon enough, you'll be discarded. That's the most haggard excuse known to civilized man. You don't even have a legitimate profession as far as I can tell. You hunt people down and execute them in an impersonal extrajudicial fashion befitting a slaughterhouse. At least a butcher feeds people. You're incapable of creation or innovation. Just a rigid, unfeeling extension of the state's will. You're not even a human being. You're a tool. Good to know that my very life or death will be determined by your moral compass. <laughs> this truly is the worst of all possible worlds. Howdy! Yes? I know it may not have seemed glorious, but you've done a great service for the NCR. When this is all done, I'll make sure you get a commendation. I'm afraid that's everything I have at present. Stick with Randall if you're looking for more work. <laughs>